I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and your brothers out there teaching to the four corners of the earth, and then be Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings. Shalom. I'd like to go into uh, who was uh, took up by the Most High's chariots. All right, and I wanted to go into three individuals. Um, first, first off, I'm gonna start with Enoch. All right, so Genesis 5 and 24, it says, And Enoch walked with the Most High, and he was not, for the Most High took him. All right, so when it says Enoch walked with the Most High, does that mean he walked side by side with him? No, because you got a lot of people uh, saying that. But, so when it says Enoch walked uh, with the Most High, that means he walked in the ways of the Most High. He walked righteously. Yeah, and the scriptures I'm about to uh, bring on it because it says what well, he he pleased the Most High. So, Ecclesiasticus uh, 44 <clears throat> and 16 says, Enoch pleased the Lord and was translated, being an example of repentance to all generations. So, yeah, it says being an example of repentance to all generations. So what? He he walked and he conducted himself in a righteous manner. Um from there let's get Hebrews. Uh Hebrews eleven and five. Hold this on the back too. So Hebrews 11 and 5 says, <clears throat> says, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found before the Most High had translated him. For him, it's like before his translation, he had this testimony that pleased the Most High. So the second scripture keeps saying that he pleased the Most High. So what? He walked in the ways of the Most High. He walked in a righteous manner. Because it tells you, uh, you please the Most High by doing His will, you know, uh, or slop by uh, following following His ways. Um. And yeah, in uh, forest like. For as now speaking out like for the like for the elect and things like that like now like when the salvation comes for the elect of the children of children of Israel, which is like I said of the elect, um, when he when these chariots come, your uh your body is gonna have to be changed. So that's why I'm gonna go into First Corinthians. First Corinthians fifteen. And 50, it says, now this, this is Paul speaking, it says, And this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither does corruption inherit corruption, incorruption. It says, behold, I will show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we all shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written, death is swallowed up by victory. You know, because what? Our bodies are filthy. So it's, it, it, it has to be changed into what? The bodies of uh, incorruptible. And uh, uh, as far as even going up in that 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 realm, you know, we cannot take these these earth these earthly fleshly wicked bodies, you know. And then when you jump down, uh, when you jump down to uh, thirty eight. Going back to 1 Corinthians 15, it says, 
Yeah, we start at uh, yeah, we'll start at thirty eight. It says, But the most high give it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. It says all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another flesh another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies of terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. So what? Us now here, we're, we're in a terrestrial body, and the angels are in a celestial body. So, but the point being made is, you, you're going to have to, you're going to have to be changed, you know. Now, stone speaking of Elijah, right? Next show I want to get now. Elijah is going to get Second Kings two and one. It says, and it came to pass when Yahweh would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went up into that slot that Elijah went with Elisha from Gal Galgal. Jump to verse eleven. It says, and it came to pass. As they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elisha went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And uh, Salah, it says, And Elijah went up to a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. So it's showing you that what Elisha saw Elijah uh, uh, be taken up in a whirlwind, it, and that's what you would call uh, they call them uh, UFOs, the unidentified objects. But to the men in the truth, they're what they're IFOs because they're I, they're identified objects to us, and we know that they're what we know. They're cheered to the most high. Alright. And now. <clears throat> Ecclesiasticus. You know. Or you can call it Sirach. 48 and 9. It says. Who was taken up in a whirlwind of fire. In a chariot of, of fiery horses. So you know. That, that goes along also with. Um. Speaking on uh, Elijah. And last but not least. Yahweh Shai, right? So we're going to go to Acts. Acts 1 and 9. And it says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And it says, While... They looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up in heaven? This same Yahweh which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So Yahweh was took up in a chariot. He's going to come back in, in a chariot. Because it says what? In the same... Slot like says, uh, This same Yahweh Shah, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven. And another and a proof of that is what? Another proof of that. There's many scriptures on it. I just want to get this one right here in Matthew 24. Because he was us. Uh, Speaking to the apostles, right? And um, I'm going to start at verse 27. Because before that, it's talking about... Uh, uh, yeah, there shall, there shall uh, arise false Christ and false prophets. And uh, they shall show great signs and wonders that they may deceive what the very elect. But uh, And it tells them uh, they may say go here or there. But... Um, you know not to go. And it tells you what? Believe it not. 
verse so verse 27 says for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so shall also the coming of the son of man be uh, for what wheresoever the carcass is there will be the eagles be gathered together Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And there go the point that I wanted. It says, And then shall appear the sign of Son of Man in the heavens, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of the heaven with power and great glory. So... Yeah, that's how uh, Yahweh Shah is coming back, you know, with the power and with great glory with the angels. And I'm going to just read this verse since I said it with the angels, right? It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to another. So, you know, the chariots, Yahweh Shah, angels, and the chariots are coming back. And ultimately, one is a... Uh, Salvation for the elect, for them when you see them chariots, and two is going to be the destruction of this wicked queendom, America, aka Babylon the Great. All right, so uh, oh, and also uh, you know, seeing the chariots is a beautiful thing, you know, because I can speak an account of for myself, I have seen I have seen a chariot before, you know. So, uh, they are there, you know. Even though I believed it in the scriptures, but you know it was a, a beautiful thing that the uh, that the Most High Yahweh Shemashah, you know, uh, he'll he'll show you these things. And there've been a lot more of these sightings popping up. Cause wow, we are in them times where uh, we're at we're at the end, and now they're just they're showing themselves all across the world. And now there's there, there's uh, been many sightings on them. So uh, with that, I'd like to say I was one out there was edified, shall I want.